Hola a todo mundo, Stauli con TGN aquí con la hoja tormenta. Yeah, <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with my character, man. I'm loving this warrior. Uh, Oja Tormenta here in Warsong Golds. A little pre-made with the guys from Tally's World Order. Oh, an honorable kill. We were getting camped in our respawn. Of course, the other team had to have like a bazillion, you know, freaking hunters, mages. Uh, we basically had everyone at lower level uh, gear except for myself. I'm basically in full BOAs. Uh, this is me at level 10. Uh, the crazy part is that BOAs are so overpowered. Um, at level 10 on my Spire Stone Warrior, which is the first warrior I created, and then I just said to myself, hell no, I can't do this without the BOAs right now. Um, I was like about 231 uh, HP. Um, pretty much here unbuff. I'm 471 with BOAs at level 10. So right here, we're just wrecking face. I have a few healers uh, heal body me here in Warsong Gulch. Uh, even uh, the hunters, I'm having a good time just, you know, messing them up. Little mortal strike action. Uh, lower level BGs, pretty easy for arms warrior. Uh, you know, put up your rend, put up your mortal strike. Whenever you have a chance, if you get your victory rush, start fucking just jamming people in the face. Para la victoria, libertad, mi amigos. And we go from one person to the other. <laughs> victory rush, <laughs> dead. Victory rush, dead. Uh oh, don't, don't, don't summon that. Oh, you're dead. Sorry. No, you ain't gonna summon that. Peace out. Thunderclap, dead. 236 <laughs> melee swing to kill that warlock right there. But um, I'm having so much fun. Uh, all the guys uh, that I've been uh, leveling with and doing battlegrounds with and dungeons with. Uh, this is basically levels 10 through 19. That's how I'm going to basically format my videos. It's, it's going to be 10 through 19, 20 through 29. And uh, here we go. At this point, right here, I'm bumped up a little bit. I'm level 13 here with about 900 plus HP uh, with Fort. And I have the uh, the Rumsel. What's it called? The Rumsel Drunken Beer Mug of Death and Doom. It's awesome to take that. Oh, oh, lollipop. Lollipop, 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 the dead return me. And um, I still have my heal bots here with me. Um, I always try to roll with people from Tally's World Order. We're, we're all kind of trying to level together. There's a few people. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is going to be a massacre. <laughs> Let's take care of the priest first. That's the first thing I do. I just focus the priest, take him out first, and then start working on everyone else. Because the priests are so overpowered. This priest at lower level, those shields um, shield you for about like three to 400 damage. It is amazing. Um, kill that shaman right there. Bounce to the warrior. Finito, dead, arrivederci, sayonara, vamos a vamos a ver más tarde. And then uh, around level 13, I decided, you know what, 10 through 13, some battlegrounds. Let's hit up some, uh, what should we call it, Rage Fire Chasm. Is it RFC? Is that I say Chasm? Chasm? Whatever. Whatever, RFC uh, over here in the uh, Slags and or Orgrimmar. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, prot warrior tanking at lower levels is just pretty much face roll. It's rend the target, pull a whole bunch of shit. And then hit Thunderclap. Right here, I'm having a bit of an issue. And I don't know why. I'm thinking to myself, why is everyone just pulling aggro off of me? I have BOAs. Everyone else is in normal gear. Oh, right. Defensive stance. Forgot about that one. Jesus Christ. So, uh, <laughs> such a noob. So, um, since I can't actually charge in defensive stance, um, I have to get the macro set up so I can just, you know, switch stances really quick between battle and defensive for dungeons. But, yeah, pretty much simple. Go ahead. Rend, Thunderclap, uh, Shield Slam, whatever you can. Thunderclap off cooldown, and everything's GTG. Good to go. I'm about to ding right here. And um, the rest of the people who are leveling with me, they don't have BOAs. Level 14, Nivel 14. I don't know. I like saying it that way. Nivel, Nivel 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? I'm doing a fucking Michael Jackson moonwalk with all these ads right here. And now I'm going to start. Oh, this is my favorite room right here. Pull everything. Rend. Blah, thunderclap. Blah. It's so easy. I, I'm, it's so face roll, which, uh, which usually brings me to the, the topic of discussion for levels 10 through 19. Um, a lot of people complain that there's a huge imbalance when it comes to um, BOAs and uh, leveling. You know, uh, uh, someone who has BOAs compared to someone who doesn't have BOAs. Yeah, you could do dungeons at 15 and get all the blues, and you could be almost as equal to someone in BOAs, but it's just not the same. Like, the, the stats are just so much more powerful overall, and the experience is insane. So, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So, I went ahead and I killed um, the main boss there. Um, 
I'm, I'm going to try to my best to make these a little bit better in terms of catching when I level and um, catching, you know, better aspects of my leveling. Um, honestly, it, it's a bit boring uh, to, to watch this, so I have to try to make it as exciting as possible. <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure how much lower level ex uh, videos, you know, how much excitement you can get from that. But I'm going to try my best. Um, I'm going to dedicate myself to level this warrior to 85. There we go. Nivel 15. Ooh, dungeon finder. New talent points available. Let's see. What do we do? Um, toughness. More armor. Woohoo. And, um, yeah, basically what I want to do is, you know, do the 10 through 19, 20 through 29, and uh, basically show you guys, you know, just how powerful BOE leveling is. I mean, obviously there's other directors out there who have leveling series. Um, this is my first actual leveling series. Uh, I was going to do it with my Hunter, but I just leveled my Hunter way too quickly and didn't record any footage. But I'm still going to level 4 Loco, folks. And um, hopefully when I can level him to about 85, there, there will be some PvP action. It's probably going to be very uh, newbie-ish, but what can I say? Um, so I basically leveled from 13 through, what's my next level here? 15, I think, in about, oh man, it was so quick. It was like half an hour. Um, I leveled in dungeons so quickly i mean i just chain pull everything and i have such a high hp pool and as long as i have someone who's a, a decent healer i mean look at right here i'm just pulling everything it's just thunderclap and come on let's take it to the boss get the boss too get him involved yeah <laughs> jergoshti invoker he drops some uh pretty good bracers uh for tanking or uh, male tanking rather and uh, i basically used those when they dropped off of him oh yeah here we go there's going to be uh, some level pop in here in a second and I like to thank all the people in uh, Tally's World Order who've been, you know, helping me run these dungeons, uh, staying up late on the live stream. Uh, if you guys want to catch my actual uh, progression while leveling, I'm usually only doing it while I'm live streaming uh, every night after raid. I do a few battlegrounds. I do what I can. And then I just do this for about like an hour or so. So um, in about like last night in about like an hour of leveling, I basically hit like level 19 from like 15 to 19 and about here we go. 16, yes. It was a like, execute. Too bad I can't fucking use it in defensive stands. God damn it. And uh, that was pretty quick. Like, this dungeon only took, like, I don't know how many minutes, and I leveled, like, three times. But um, once we're done with uh, Rage Fire Chasm here, we're going to go right to my most hated instance in the world. And I haven't been there since the changes, I think, to 4.0 uh, 4 uh, and 4th. But um, Rage, uh, was it, Wailing Caverns? Yeah, Wailing Caverns, the turtle boss. Give me that green shield, motherfucker. And, um, yeah, like I said, once again, thanks to all those guys helping me out. The live stream is pumping every night. We have at least, like, you know, uh, during my raids, we have, like, eight, 900, almost 1,000 people sometimes. But when I'm leveling my warrior, I still have, like, six, 700 people watching, which is pretty exciting because it's like, wow, I can't believe people actually want to watch other people level. But here we go, Wailing Caverns, chain pulling like a boss, almost died here, had to take a health potion. Um, I have Heroic Strike now. Yay! Now, I'm not sure if you can actually keybind Heroic Strike or excuse me, um, macro heroic strike to any other abilities uh, to spam it. Um, I'm pretty much rage starved half the time, so I'm trying to pull just as much shit as possible. <laughs> it's like, need more rage, need more rage. Crash, Crash is my boy. I love Crash. Uh, he either drops the shield that just gives you the straight up armor, or he actually has a chance to drop the shield that gives you the stats. And uh, I, I never get the one with the stats. I know there's one with stats. People are like, no, that one doesn't exist, man. It does exist, okay? Para la hoja tormenta, yo voy a coger ese shield. I don't know how to say shield in Spanish. Espada is sword. Shield is, I don't know, I'm going to have to fucking dictionary.com, fucking English to Spanish translator, that shit. I never had to use the word shield growing up. Sorry. But, um, yeah, we got, I got the normal shield with the armor. Equip that shit. Continue forth. But now we're going to get to the uh, part of this um, leveling series that I want the community to be involved in. At the end of every one of my uh, videos for my series, I want to ask you guys an important question. Be that I'm a lower level player right now, only level um, whatever it may be now, um, 18, 19, coming up. Are BOAs too powerful for leveling? And not only that, but should new players to the game be given BOAs via vendors every maybe 5 to 10 levels? And does Blizzard care about low-level imbalance? I say this because I say to myself, all right, I'm totally overpowered right now. I can push myself through any dungeon, chain pull like room after room after room in all this BOA gear that doesn't even really have defensive stats. Now... 
if I'm a totally, if I'm a new player to the game, and let's say I want to enjoy World of Warcraft PvP, I want to enjoy World of Warcraft Dungeons, you go into your first battleground, level 10, maybe you're even level 14, but you don't have any BOAs, you have a few blues from maybe all greens from questing, you look at the other team, five hunters, full BOAs, rogues, mages, full BOAs, priests, dispriests, full BOAs, is that fair? What kind, of, what kind of person would actually keep playing this game, leveling up through dungeons or, um, or battlegrounds, if they wanted to, without BOAs? Of course you can say, well, Tally, you know what? They have the option to quest all the way to 85, but what if they don't want to quest? What if they want a battleground? What if their main focus in every MMO they've been in has been PvP? Then they get shafted. They get shafted. Because they've never played the game. Level 19, ding, nivel 19. And um, that's basically what I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys believe that the BOAs are too powerful for leveling? Do you think the level 25 experience may, uh, might be enough? Or the level 25 uh, guild experience might be enough? Oh, here we go. This is beautiful. This is some nice little... Uh, <laughs> this is some prot warrior PvP, folks. Uh, camping some respawns while I'm being healed uh, at the bottom there on the ground. <laughs> These guys were probably fucking livid. <laughs> How much HP do I have here? I have about, let's see... Um, 1400 almost 1500 hp with the uh with the beer mug or whatever the rumzil mug beer thing alcoholic beverage for loco and um basically that's my question are they too powerful should the new players i'm talking about new fresh players that come into world of warcraft should they be given boas equal to what we get from our binding account items um on our level 85s that we give to our you know alts and do you guys think that Blizzard even cares about low-level imbalance? Do you think Blizzard cares about the new subscribers to their game that are getting totally frustrated the second they try to enter a battleground and compete and get totally demolished all the way from level 10 to, like, level 80? Do you think Blizzard even cares? I want to hear your thoughts. Post them down in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Uh, my next series, of course, is going to be levels 20 through 29. Um, I'm going to finish up the BGs at level 19 once I hit 20. I'm probably going to dungeon on 20 for a bit. And then uh, probably like around uh, 23, 24, I'm going to hit up the battlegrounds. We're going to see what the hell the call to arms is. Because even if you win Warsong Golges at this point, it's it's totally useless in terms of like experience. Unless it's call to arms, then the experience is pretty bad. But I like, you know, playing with the fans. You know, I, I swap people in and out who are watching me on the stream. You know, I keep two healers with me. I, you know, I swap out two DPS. I swap out healers. It's a lot of fun, guys. Come down to justin.tv slash Tally. After hours, it's called Tally After Dark. Um, after 11 uh, p.m. Pacific time, midnight, around that time, I start playing on my Warrior. And uh, it's a great time, and we all just fucking... I, I tell these crazy stories about my past, you know, guy, you know, catching friends, blowing another guy, all, all this crazy stuff. And, you know, people just love it. I love it. So, um, yeah, so justin.tv slash Tally is my live stream. Uh, YouTube.com slash Console Crusader is my personal YouTube, recently partnered. Um, HolyShield.com is my personal website uh, where I discuss, you know, my rating, my thoughts on rating, strategies, etc. Um, Facebook.com slash Tally. Twitter.com slash TowelTheTank. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm going to try to make it as more interactive and better for you guys as possible. Um, the Cuban sensation, Oja Tormenta, aquí con te, he, en, noobs. 